We all know that Harris has been hiding from the press because everybody knows she's horrendously unlikable and she can't do well when she's off script. And now CNN panelists have had a heated argument over Kamala Harris' lack of media engagement, according to Fox News. Harris briefly spoke to reporters after a campaign rally in Michigan on Thursday, which was an abject disaster with people getting stranded and staff members crying. CNN commentator sharply argued Thursday over Vice President Kamala Harris' lack of engagement with the media after former President Trump gave a press conference from Mar-a-Lago and Harris spoke at a campaign rally in Michigan. Don't nobody care but us, CNN commentator and Democratic strategist Bakari Sellers said of criticism about Harris uh, largely avoiding the press in recent weeks. That's not true, fellow panelist S.E. Cup responded. I speak to swing state voters all the time. They have questions. They want answers, and they won't get any of them. They still haven't released an actual platform on the uh, the campaign website. They're probably saying, vote for us because we're not Donald Trump. Harris broke her press silence on Thursday, briefly talking to reporters, um, or taking reporters' questions for the first time in the nearly three weeks since she became the Democratic Party's presumptive nominee. She claimed during her remarks that she wanted to do an interview by the end of the month. I'll believe it when I see it. This is so in the beltway, Sellers said, suggesting it was largely an issue that is discussed within the uh, confines of Washington, D.C. You're not the first person to make this argument that she doesn't uh, need to do this. It is a very inside the beltway thing for us, Cup uh, later told Sellers. You lose credibility when you do that, because if I were someone else, then you would be demanding that she sit down for questions. Or if it were someone else, then you would be demanding that she sit down for questions. And you know what? It'll make her a better candidate if she does. (laughs) Sure. Okay. But only if the questions are pre-screened and she can rehearse very scripted answers or cackle her way through it. And why shouldn't she? She should answer these questions for the American people, said Trisha McLaughlin, uh, the former communications director for Vivek Ramaswamy's presidential campaign. And she will, Sellers responded. Really? But why not now, McLaughlin said. Cup, one of several anti-Trump Republicans that should be in uh, capitals, because if you're anti-Trump, you're not a Republican. Uh, At CNN, also said Harris has experienced a bit of a honeymoon period, which is about to end, ladies and gentlemen, in regard to her media coverage in the days following her nomination by the Democratic Party. Actually, some of it already has ended because Tim Walz and his false valor scandal may actually be harming the entire campaign, and they may have to find a new VP with even less time to vet than they did Tim Walz. Harris has made rapid gains in the polls after President Biden announced he was withdrawing from the race with faulty methodology and badly weighted um, uh, samples. According to a Thursday poll from Marquette Law School, Harris expanded her uh, lead among likely voters over Trump by six points, 53 percent to 47 percent. The Harris campaign did not immediately respond to a request for comment from Fox News Digital, but cackling could be heard in the background of the phone call as everyone was experiencing some very severe nerves. I don't know what's actually going to happen with her campaign, but it seems to be imploding in on itself like an old souffle that was left to sit on the counter for too long. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and then tune in for my live stream tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Till next time, thanks for watching.